Unions build. Roads, bridges, and buildings. Yes. But with training and apprenticeship programs, unions build much more. A safer community, careers without crushing debt, and a route to rebuild the American middle class. Unions build the future. And we're just getting started. Join us. Today on Built to Last, Chicago's trades step up. They had a very old uh, kitchen in need of a lot of repair. Oh, it means a whole, whole lot. I am 76 years old. I wouldn't have never did this myself. It's all in a day's work. Pick up a hammer. It's time for Built to Last. Built to Last is brought to you by the Chicago Regional Council of Carpenters Labor and Management Committee and Armstrong Ceilings. Faster, easier, better. Welcome to Built to Last. I'm Mark Nelson. And I'm Monica Peterson. We are at the Chicago Regional Council of Carpenters Apprenticeship and Training Center. This is the place that skilled union carpenters train to build the communities of tomorrow. As members of the communities they built, all skilled tradesmen and tradeswomen understand the importance of giving back. That's right. Every year on the last Saturday in April, the trade unions band together with an important charitable organization and hundreds of non-trades volunteers and head out to rebuild homes for those who need it most. thing about the Carpenters Union, we have two hands. One hand, we take care of our members. On the other hand, we take care of our communities. That's a big deal for Clayco. We want to make sure that, you know, when we do projects in a town or in an area, we always want to give back. Today we're working in Chicago, in Chicago Heights, where we have 76 homes that are being retrofitted. Um, What's powerful about this, we have worked in over 300 communities. I personally have been working as a house captain probably for about the last 15 years. This is my 18th year. It's my sixth year. I've been doing this for over 30 years. We get 30 to 40 guys every year come out and donate their time and they do whatever we can to make it safe in their house. Every time you do one of these projects, you touch the lives of so many people. Growing up here in Park Forest, uh, just the community next over, I'm glad to use the skills that the union has taught us uh, to help uh, the neighborhood, to help regrow the South Suburbs. My name is Hiawatha Hardy. Uh, I put it, my application in October and they called me in November. They wanted to come fix my house. Here at Mrs. Hardy's house, what we're doing is we're replacing uh, cabinets. There's trim that needs to be replaced in the kitchen. Um, looks like there was some water damage. So there's gonna be some repairs that um, to the substructures. We've got painters here today. We've got carpenters, we have plumbers. Um, so the painters are doing bedrooms. The plumbers are in doing bathrooms. We've got electricians out here doing uh, the lights on the exterior, interior of the house. So there's a lot of things going on. Everybody's, you know, just so friendly and introducing itself. Everybody got a smile. We've got carpenters uh, rebuilding uh, walls and we've got them working on doorways and entryways. And they asked me, do you mind if 25 or 30 volunteers be in your home? I said, not at all. The homeowner's been great. Well, what are you doing there? It's like a grandmother, you know, everybody expects to have. They say they're going to do the garage, clean out, bring a dumpster. She's going to have a, a, you know, a nicely repainted, refinished house. Um, new toilet, she's gonna have you know, new, new plumbing work to make sure that her house is, uh, stays, um, stays dry. Uh, she's gonna have um, new light fixtures, new lights, so she's brighten up her living room so that she can see everything. And so it's gonna be a really great uh, home once it's done. Wow, oh, so much. Some of the houses are smaller than others. Some have basements, some have garages, backyards. So every year you're praying for good weather. I picked this house in January because we have a lot of great painters in our group. So um, four rooms to be painted, it's um, considered a medium house, which is you know kind of right in our wheelhouse. We came here this morning and the stairs were uh, falling apart. They were not safe to walk up and down on. So the first thing we did was demo all the rotted material and got back to a structure that was sound. They were in the process of right now. Uh, there'll be new stairs and handrails coming in and out of the front door so the, the owner of the house can get in and out safely. 
Honestly, this has been the best year. We were assigned five carpenters, which is a lot. And all, not only did all five of them come, they brought other people too. So we ended up with like eight. We've got about 30 people here today, all over the house, multiple projects going on at once. So I think it's a little overwhelming, but they've been walking around and taking a look at all the projects and they're like, it just feels lighter and brighter. We understand the importance of having beautification within your community. We always notice this when we're in the neighborhood that even though we're not able to do every single house on this block, like just the fact that we're here and we're doing all this and the neighbors see it. There's a lot of different messages. A lot of times we meet kids uh, in the family. They're asking questions like, what are you guys doing? And so we get to tell them, hey, I'm a journeyman for local 1185 um, and I get to work on my knees and I get a great benefits package. They might be interested in becoming a carpenter and that's something that we show them. I mean, the trades have always been a part of this program. Uh, anytime we need them out, plumbers, painters, carpenters, electricians, they have all come out. You know, when you're on the job site, it's just you doing your job. Um, and you know, you can kind of see what the other trades are doing, but Working together this close in a small capacity in a small confines, you really are, are working hand in hand with your brother. Community asks for help and we, we want to give back. I mean, I make a good living and to give somebody a Saturday uh, is not a big deal at all. The first time you see the homeowners uh, break into tears after you finished all the work, that's just the, that's just the joy of it. One day a year, I mean, who can't spare that time? We realize that the plumbing parts aren't there, the plumber stands around and it's a waste of his time. We'll come out on those weekends ahead of time, make sure everything is, is bought correctly and make it more efficient. At Armstrong Ceiling and Wall Solutions, we take great pride in making a positive difference in the lives of people. With the broadest portfolio in the industry and the technical performance to back it up, you can design and install with confidence. Our ceiling construction expertise, training, and pre-engineered ceiling solutions make it easy for you to seamlessly transition from one end of the building to the other. Improve construction efficiencies and keep every job on time, on budget, and on the mark with Armstrong Ceiling and Wall Solutions. Faster, easier, better. When you need a concrete contractor for your commercial project, you can't waste time waiting through countless unproven contractors who don't specialize in the job type you need or service your area. ConcreteIL.com lets you browse Northern Illinois' top contractors to find the perfect fit for your exact needs. You can filter our vetted list of contractors by both job type and location and even request proposals directly through the site. Thinking commercial concrete? Think ConcreteIL.com. From bridges and trains to iconic high-rises, have you ever wondered who's powering Chicago? Power Unlike our sports heroes, they go unnoticed. Yet they proudly keep our businesses, homes, and great city running. IBEW Local 134 electricians and the electrical contractors have the experience, training, and reliability to keep Chicago open for business. Often seemingly minor household plumbing issues can turn into major problems. Sadly, there are people who can't afford to have these problems fixed. Skilled union plumbers who know this are happy to lend their expertise and volunteer their time to Rebuilding Together. Today is Rebuilding Together. It's the event we do once a year, the last Saturday of April. Uh, we start looking at houses in February and March. We go out to various neighborhoods that Rebuilding Together chooses. Every house is sponsored by a company, whether it be a, you know, a Walsh construction or a law firm. And they actually select the homes they want. We categorize them from light, medium, and heavy. You know, if it's a big construction company, they're going to take the heavy homes versus maybe a little smaller firm or a volunteer firm. We'll take a lighter home. We are a large group of people that are already within the construction industry. Um, a lot on the vendor side are architects, contractors, that kind of thing. So we always pick a very heavy home, like someone that really, really needs our help. And then they assign a house captain. Uh, we train the house captain for four or five weeks, and then they bring the volunteers from their company, and then we go to all the unions and recruit, recruit help, and that's how we get the plumbers, electricians, and carpenters, and painter tapers, and we assign them to different houses. Basically put together a wish list of what these people would like done at their house that need things done. You'll have 250 to 275 uh, 130 licensed plumbers and apprentices going out today to help those who need it. And so this year we picked Miss Lily, and she is 93. She gets around really good, so 
th this is her home. She needs to be safely to, to, to move around. She has two daughters that are helping us out, organized volunteers and making sure everybody's okay. Yeah, they've been great. I've been in inside. It, it, it's amazing on what, what's going on and the amount of people and everybody has a, something to do. I think in combination of our uh, eager helpers and the uh, professional help, we have about 50 people on site. We have to get in and get out in a timely fashion. So we're going to be starting early this morning and hopefully we're done by the end of the day. This morning from 7 o'clock to 7.35, it took them 35 minutes to tear up the kitchen, which is, that means that everybody's moving very quickly to get the stuff done. But um, it's about coordination. So once you get in there, you just talk to a couple guys, let them know who goes first and stuff and help each other out. Like we're all here for the same purpose. So, you know, I mean, it's all about communication. We've sent a bunch of plumbers, electricians, carpenters, tile guys. Some of these uh, residents are not very mobile. Uh, they're elderly, they can't get around too much. So when we go in there and we uh, install like, handheld showers. Flooring issues, they had a lot of that. They had a very old uh, kitchen in need of a lot of repair. So that uh, they have an easier time just uh, living, you know. It makes us feel good. You know, we talk about it all year and we prepare for it all year. These plumbers even volunteer like four or five Saturdays where they come out to the houses and make sure the material list is right. Because we realize that the plumbing parts aren't there, the plumber stands around and it's a waste of his time. We'll come out on those weekends ahead of time, make sure everything is, is bought correctly and make it more efficient. Some glue and primer. I'm proud to tell you we've got uh, 20 contractors donating uh, their service fans today. Materials come from a supply house called South Shore. They work closely with Rebuilding Together. And we have a lot of, of our union companies that come and they'll provide vans and material and stuff like that. Hey, you're good to go. They will have two trailers on both sites loaded with uh, plumbing materials. So me as a foreman, I'd call one of the trucks and tell them they were short a certain material, a certain uh, fixture or something, and them trucks people have donated will, uh, will bring them out. Sending a non-skilled somebody to Home Depot, they have no idea what an angle stop is, right? It's a real partnership between the local union and my contractor base in making today successful. Jim Coyne, Mike Shea, Paul Rodriguez, they're just been outstanding people to work with over the years. Those three guys on the plumber side are awesome. She will have a brand new kitchen. She will have carpeted floors, painted walls. It'll be fantastic. We blessed for this. Very this is a blessing. A definite big blessing. Yes. They're very overwhelmed because a lot of what they their issues are or were uh, have been lingering for years. Union tradesmen and women volunteered at dozens of homes in the Inglewood and Chicago Heights neighborhoods. We're fortunate. We have good jobs, and a lot of people aren't as fortunate as us. And when I go out and look at these houses, I, I think everybody I've met since I've been doing this is very deserving of, of our time today. I've been doing uh, rebuilding for 10 years. I've been running the, the city side of the operations here, and uh, I love to be able to give back to the community and help people in, uh, in their times of need. You know, it's easy for us to fix stuff at our house because we do it for a living. But, uh, you know, some people can't afford it. And we're blessed, you know, with the wages we have. Some people don't, you know, aren't blessed with the income. Watching the whole event take place and watching everybody get more and more tired and then uplifted at the end of the day, it's just an amazing experience. It's an amazing feeling. Between 1988 and 2018, Rebuilding Together has repaired and renovated over 210,000 homes, facilities, and community spaces with the help of 4.1 million volunteers. The sort of love and commitment that people give to volunteer their time and do the kind of real repair work that these folks couldn't pay for otherwise. Keeping restaurants and hotels up to date with the latest design trends is a constant challenge. Finding qualified contractors isn't at finishingchicago.com. We work with top designers and general contractors who use the latest painting, drywall finishing, and wall covering techniques in Chicagoland's premier hotels and restaurants. The hospitality industry relies on finishingchicago.com as its free resource to find quality finishing contractors. For a great finish, start with finishingchicago.com. 24-7, IBEW Local 9 linemen are there protecting you and your family from the moment you wake up with the power in your home, on your way to work, lighting the way and easing congestion, plus keeping you safe with traffic lights and cameras. So the next time you're at a stoplight, pass under a power line, or just pull into your brightly lit neighborhood, think of your friends at IBEW Local 9. 
we'll continue to light the way for you. Meet us online at IBEW9.org. Let's check out how skilled union painters are volunteering their skills for rebuilding together. Today we're working on 76 homes in West Englewood and Chicago Heights. We'll be working with 3,000 volunteers. But I just wanted to thank you all for coming out here today. We're extremely dependent on the relationships and the partnerships that we have with the, with the labor unions. Um, they have been with us since the beginning too. I would have to say that almost every project that's being completed today has some sort of painting, taping, patching work that's being done in it. So having that skill really helps expedite the projects at each individual home and the community centers that we're in. Oh, it means a whole, whole lot. Because back in February, I had told two of my children that I wasn't gonna do anything else to this house. I am 76 years old. I wouldn't have never did this myself. Then I get a call in March from the alderman's office. I mean, thank God. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Alderman Raymond Lopez standing here on 69th and Ada in the Greater Englewood community. We're at one of the 40 sites for Rebuilding Together. When Rebuild Together came and said, you know, we want to bring this to your area, you know, we worked extensively with them to ensure that we got the word out to every homeowner that it applied to. I hurried up and went down there and I passed the applications out. So. Four of us benefit from it. Oftentimes we know that unions are the backbone of a middle class environment, but the unions themselves are giving back. The impact that it has on the residents. I just left half a dozen residents who are smiling ear to ear. Very excited. Very, very, very excited. I'm so excited I don't know what to do. <laughs> I can jump for joy. <laughs> People who've spent their lives uh, investing in these homes, they raise their families there, they might be multi-generational. The power of the sort of love and commitment that people give to volunteer their time and do the kind of real repair work that these folks couldn't pay for otherwise is so powerful. Uh, this is, I think, our fifth uh, home that we've sponsored over the past five years. Oh, today we've got members of the Plumbers Union and the Electricians Union with us, with the Skilled Labor Unions, and then we have Painters Union with us. We also, with American Airlines, we have a group of volunteers that came to join us today uh, to just to make a difference in the home of our homeowner. Quick safety chat for the job here. Uh, at this location today, we have six painters from District Council 14. Some of them reached out to me to be involved in this program. You know, we had literature out to get people to volunteer, but some of them actually got to me to say they wanted help. Some of them actually do live in this neighborhood or are from this neighborhood, so they felt great giving back to their own community where they grew up. It's a great thing when they don't have to look at their old place, their old colors, they choose the colors of what they want in their house, and it's just great to see that they're happy with the fresh coat of paint. Oh my, it really means, oh, I can't express what it means because I've been living here for about 59 years. <laughs> uh, my house haven't been decorated in about uh, maybe 25 or 30 years. So, and my husband passed away 15 years ago and I haven't had much work done to the house and it really means a lot. These are homeowners that can't necessarily afford the upkeep. A lot of them are elderly. Their spouses have passed, they don't have that support, and then their houses tend to need a little bit more work. So it's wonderful to get those skilled labor, union labor employees in to help us make a difference in the life of them. The business agents as a group all together reached out to our members and asked them if they would come out and volunteer. A lot of them already knew that this event was coming, they look forward to it. I do it because of the smile on the homeowner's face. I do it for the camaraderie that we've developed with our longtime volunteers, and it's just uh, an amazing way to invest in the community that I live in. This can't be done without the partnerships um, and the skill that's coming from our skilled trades unions. And these are the important projects that need to be done and finished in order for a homeowner to have the simple repairs that will make their home warmer, safer, and drier. See your house get new life thanks to Rebuild Together, thanks to the, the men and women who make up the trades that are rebuilding these homes. The moment you walk in, even now as they're doing the work, that kind of hope and love that my residents have for everyone involved is just immense. That it's unsafe, and since we're here, we're gonna go ahead and fix it. 
Electricians and plumbers are great because something else needs to be done, they help out. They don't leave until the job's done. When you have plumbing issues in your home, it can disrupt your whole routine. At Plumbers 911, we connect you with a highly experienced plumber in five minutes or less. We call it our five minute promise. All of our expert plumbers are highly trained, background checked, licensed, and insured, so you can feel confident that your job will be done right the first time. Our phones are open 24 7 to help solve your problem, day or night, at 1 833 PLUM 911. Plumbers 911, your plumbing connection. We are DeWalt. We're the ones who grind it out. The ones using materials from all over the world to build the things that build America right here in America. And there's no place we'd rather be. Land of the free, tools of the brave. This is a team. It's made up of different players, positions, skills, talented, sure, but on their own. Because every team needs a coach, someone who makes things work together. That's how less it works. We're coaches in the construction industry, bringing together laborers and management, unions and contractor associations. Our work leads to safer, stronger construction, which is a win for us all. Household electrical problems can be more than simply an annoyance. They can be outright dangerous. The electricians of IBEW understand this and are pitching in with Rebuilding Together to make sure homes are in safe working order. Rebuilding Together Metro Chicago is uh, an organization that works within the communities to help rebuild and repair people's homes so that they can live in warmth, safety, and comfort. At Walsh Construction, we've been in Chicago since 1898, and working with the community and being a part of the community is really a part of who we are. Even Chicago Mayor-elect Lori Lightfoot stopped by to show her support. First and foremost, I want to thank you all for giving up your Saturday away from your families to make a difference in people's lives all through the city. Um, Mayor Lightfoot has a different vision for the city of inclusiveness. I wanted to present her something on May 20th. I hope she puts this up in her office. If you have job number C39, there's material that's labeled C39. Make sure you get all of that material. It's the Electrical Contractors Association. Uh, we represent all the uh, contractors here in uh, Chicago Cook County um, and our members at the Electrical Contractors Association. As you can see, all the trucks that are here, the contractors, make sure we get the material, the tools to the jobs. So we have what we need. We have the, uh, the ground fault circuit interrupter receptacles. We are, are going to install them. You and I are going to get started on replacing. I'm running the crew of replacing some of the uh, items in this house that need to be brought up to code. I'm working on a closet pantry light fixture. We have an old one that's outdated, and we're going to replace it with a safe, up-to-date, modern one. We're replacing motion sensors at the front doors. GFCIs uh, here in the, the basement. I'm going to pipe from this panel over to this location and bring it up to code. And then there was a couple other fixtures that had some broken parts and pieces on it. This one just fell right out here. Everything in this house is cloth wire. When they had originally built it, cloth wire. And um, so we're coming in here making tighter, better terminations on the devices so there's less of a chance of uh, sparking. I first volunteered for Rebuilding Together through my local 10, my local union, local 10. And I was talking to my Aunt Michelle because she's very active in the community. And she was like, you know your grandfather's house got picked. Today we're uh, thankful to Rebuild Together for coming out and helping us do remodeling, painting, plumbing, uh, carpentry, uh, windows, doors. So we are very appreciative of that. We are replacing the back door, two chain link fences, door gates, uh, some closet doors. Let's see, what else are we doing? Thresholds, uh, light bulbs, a lot of electrical work, uh, globes in closets, putting in LED light bulbs. Dave Cocker right here. Yeah. Yes, our, our leader here. You get a really good smile on your face uh, the day after it's done. And to see the impact we make on all these houses. 
I'm a union electrician, and I'm here to volunteer my profession to help restore this home. Right now, we're in the neighborhood of Inglewood. I wasn't born here, but uh, I would always come back and visit with my grandmother. The whole rebuild process, that means a lot to me. Because sometimes it gets depressing when you ride through these neighborhoods. But now, today, seeing this enthusiasm, and before I didn't know it was this many people that care. It has just made this a complete circle of an experience. Um, it's great to be helping out the community and more importantly, helping out my grandfather. The IBEW has been part of my family uh, for generations. On TV, I had seen some commercials for the IBEW. I just graduated from high school and I had looked up, up their program and it looked like it's something that would really interest me. Instead of going to college, I decided to take an alternate route to uh, learn something skillful and something that I'm going to use for the rest of my life. I'm sure they have talents that they're giving back to their neighborhood and this is just something that, that I, this is my gift. I do plan on redoing this again next year. This part of the project isn't part of our scope of the work. Um, however, we found it and we noticed that it's unsafe and since we're here, we're going to go ahead and fix it. Electricians and plumbers are great because something else needs to be done, they help out. They don't leave until the job's done. I couldn't have done myself like this uh, electrical cable they put down here to connect the stove and the refrigerator. We actually had an extension cord at first. I mean, that's unsafe, really. In the pantry in here, they put a new light fixture. So this is cool. Can I turn this off? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. We had a lot of electrical work done downstairs. They put in, uh, they made the junction boxes safer. And we got new uh, smoke detectors. Uh, out on the front porch, they did some work on the, uh, on the electrical work outside, too. They put up some new lights and, and, and a new uh, motion detector. Wow. You know. We had some things that were electrical, that were actual fire hazards, you know. Now that I think about them and think about the electric cords and things plugged in, and now they are, they're, everything is grounded and safe. We appreciate the unions, the, the electricians, the carpenters, the plumbers, the painters, you know. Uh, we're just so grateful, you know. I'm almost, I'm almost emotional about it. It was great, you know. Can you? No. <laughs> You know, Monica, I don't know how I feel about my performance today. Hmm. Felt a bit wooden. If you would like to volunteer with or donate to Rebuilding Together, call them at 312-201-1188. Or go to the website at rebuildingtogether-chi.com. That's all for this episode of Built to Last. Be sure to check us out on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. 